yeah so first off shout out to all the subscribers i appreciate you guys thank you guys for fucking with me and uh today i want to talk about the school area nellis so you know nellis was a trip because there's like i, I mentioned a gang of times before you have a gang of young motherfuckers like young ass kids and they think they're grown men like everybody thinks they're a grown ass man everybody is like feeling themselves like a motherfucker like yeah i'm the shit you know what i mean or i shouldn't say everybody but the majority of people do majority of people are like they're, they're well i wouldn't even say the majority but the majority of active motherfuckers they just felt like they were the shit like ain't nobody fucking with me right that's the way like all those those types felt and shit so um it, it was a trip like in school you had two two periods in the morning two periods at night it was mainly high school so uh there weren't too many cats in ellis that got there that weren't in high school yet uh, i think they all went to oh and shit but for the most part it's, it's mainly going to be high school so you have two periods in the morning uh and two period then you go back to your cottage uh have lunch and then you come back um so the way it was set up in Nellis is you go to chow in the morning so that's that's a movement on its own everybody has to go to chow then they give you sack lunches sack lunches are always the fastest thing to give they can give you sack lunches uh during lunch and then you're gonna uh go back uh go back to the cottage and for dinner you're gonna go back to the chow another movement so but uh so what happens is in the morning you know you get back from chow they have school closures in the morning so they announce what classes are closed classes could be closed for a number of different reasons teachers aren't in or they're working on a building or, or some just are working on a classroom i should say just any, anything like that so um if the your if your classroom is called you're not going to school that day um and you know some people still did and i'll tell you why so fucking uh so if your classroom isn't called you're staying back so everybody who who has to go to school they all line up and then in Nellis, it's not free movement like in preston i'm not sure how school worked in preston but i know in preston if you had to go to the infirmary or if you had to go to like a, a board or shit like that you're walking on your own uh same thing in sr in sr you're walking free movement right in Nellis, there wasn't free movement so you're not walking to school uh what they're doing is you're fucking uh you're walking but with your your cottage so they line everybody up lines of uh, groups of four right and you're all lined up and shit and you walk there's gonna be cottages in front of you everybody lined up so you're gonna have like cleveland's in the front roosevelt not i'm tripping roosevelt's in the front cleveland jackson washington hayes and they all line up right and fucking on the other side you had like monroe adams uh madison so they all line up and they all walk right you walk through a metal detector and shit and when you first get there it's just like you're walking through the whole bin and they're taking you to different places so if you're in the first if you're in the first line you're you're pretty much like really don't have too much action at first like nothing's really happening like you're just walking like all right fuck it whatever but as more cottages start going through it's a trip because like let's say you're the fourth or fifth cottage you're walking in the hallway like you're walking through and they're like this class break off here and you just break off boom and you go to your class right so let's say like somebody you shot at is fucking sharpening a pencil or something in front of the door and they see you they'll either shoot at you right then and there, like shoot at you or or if or fucking rush you so boom 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 like you're, you're getting down right then and there so that that was a trip so you you do that uh and like i said there's some people who still went to school uh even though the classes were closed a lot of the times when you do that it's like fuck it i'm gonna bust a superman so it's like my class was closed but i'm still gonna go whose whose class is open and if you know who you're gonna get down with you basically run in their class so you're gonna run in their class bam 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 you're gonna get down with them and uh, um so that that's a trip so right then you know the security will have you and they'll spray you a lot of times or if, if you're good then they'll just handcuff you sit you down in the front 
and wait for everybody else to finish fighting it's a trip because they had to uh you know you have movement still so they can't stop the movement for you um so fucking um so yeah so you would have that going right and then if you made it all the way let's say if you made it all the way through the thing you get to your class right um so that's just the beginning now let's say you go to fucking uh, uh the bow rings boop so you're gonna go to your next class and i brought this up before the way that it's set up so you have if you're in certain classes and you need to get out you're gonna walk one way right but let's say if you're in another class over here and you need to come back you're gonna walk the other way so there's two lines and then everybody's that's probably the only place where there's there was free movement was in the school area so you would walk this way you you cross people and a lot of the times you would see people like because it's just about when your class was released so there could be times where you never see a motherfucker and then all of a sudden his class is released around the same time yours is and you cross path uh bam when that happens you fucking you know you jump back whoo and then you just start chunking them bam, 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 bam. most of the times you're either gonna most of the times you're gonna end up towards the middle of the uh, uh school area so you're gonna get down over there where there's more room otherwise because if you go like if you're on this side and you go this way you're more than likely gonna hit like a bush or a classroom or something like that so uh yeah so you'll get down right there boom 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 and fucking um you know you start chunking them and that's it wait for the staff to come break that shit up same thing they're gonna put you in the front wait for the fights to finish uh or if, if you're in a classroom and they let the classes out at the same time because there's been times where like the classes are lined up like you'll have four classes they all they'll let them all out at the same time and then you're like oh shit like i didn't even know this motherfucker was over here bam 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 you're gonna start getting down right there and it's crazy because the school area had so many problems because when you're in a cottage you're, you're forced to live with somebody right so you're living with them you could get down with them in the blinds or or you mean like you're gonna get down you're gonna get down in the dorm like don't get me wrong but it's a lot easier to talk through problems and and uh, uh you know even work it out in a way where it doesn't have to be so public and shit where if you have problems with somebody else or you were got down with the rampla or whatever you're gonna you're gonna have to hunt them down or or you mean you're gonna bump in and it, it's gonna be it's gonna be on so yeah so you, you're bumping into people boom 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 so let's say you made it through the day right without fighting in the morning through the initial uh entering of the classrooms out through second period you didn't do that well what they do again is they release everybody uh after second period they're gonna release everybody you're you're leaving you're leaving and what they do is they had a big ass field i wouldn't even say a field it was, it was kind of like a park low-key uh and like they had this area where they would just line you up certain wards would be over here on this side over here over here and like you had it was separated by cottages and then usually uh uh fucking people would tell you like like halfway you know what i mean like meet me halfway and, and that's it you're gonna get your ass up and and that 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 right there those were probably some of the best fights that i've seen were in, in that area because uh like you just have motherfuckers running hoo hoo adrenaline pumping like a motherfucker like you get down and then boom 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 you see some fucking crazy ass shit so like let's say somebody had to get down with somebody in cleveland and they were in uh let's say jackson they're sitting right next to each other so bam 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 there were even times where you would see like ramplas get down with like what the like people get down with each other's ramplas and you'll see like two on twos bam 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 and that shit would crack um yeah i only got down in that area once and that shit was a, a crazy ass fight like we got down for a while they fogged us and fucking like we went at it and shit so yeah so if you make it like those are the three different ways or the, those are the different times where you could fight uh right there in the school area and that's just the morning so that shit repeats again uh at school after after uh after lunch after lunch you got third and fourth period same fucking routine same shit you have cats just like wild and shit and it could kick off there there were times where, where it kicked off in the school area uh it's unlikely and it wasn't likely in Nellis. like it, it wasn't really something that, that happened too often 
but you've seen it. I remember there was a time when Domer from Florencia, you know, he cracked ears uh, on the. Uh, um... Oh, that's another thing. I forgot to mention that. If your class was closed or something happened and, and they had to, uh, uh, they had to like, like you had to, like if you already went through the bin and they're like, man, fool, you didn't hear your class was closed. That that's just closed. Then they, you sit out of some, you stand on a line. They have you standing on a line in front of the metal detectors and you watch everybody come in. Like, so fucking you're standing there while everybody's coming in, especially if you're like one of the first, uh, cottages to enter. You're going to be standing right there while everybody's walking in. And yeah, so Domer one time cracked ears and fucking that shit cracked, you know, boom, 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 boom. Motherfuckers are going, going at it and shit. So yeah, but, uh, you could be right there chilling and shit. And if you see somebody like more than likely, you're going to be like, fuck man, we, we're going to, we're going to have to chunk them. Like yeah, you have to get down with fools and shit. So like the best thing to do. This, this is a, a, what I would always do. I would always make sure whenever I went to the school area, I didn't have on my, my best clothes. Like you don't go fresh to school, never go fresh to school, uh, in Dallas that you never wanted to do that because it, it was so unpredictable and shit. And like the only time I went fresh to school, I think I told the story before, uh, is when I had just came out of, uh, I just got out of Taft. I was on Hayes cottage. I went to Taft for, uh, that, that epic fail thing I, I said, I went to Hayes Cottage, um, and I was in Hayes Cottage when it Taft, from Taft, they said, you're going back to your unit or your cottage, and they walked me across the street to Monroe. I was like, what the fuck? I'm not in Monroe, but that was my new cottage, and the homies broke me off with Nuropa, so I was like, oh, hell yeah, like, gracias, appreciate that shit, but I told him, like, I got a gang of fucking fights in school, like, do you guys have anything, anything else? Like anything I could wear to like chunk them and shit. And they were like, look, fool, just try to try to lay low until, uh, until lunchtime. We'll get you after lunch. And nah, like, it's crazy. I made it all through the fucking bin the first time. Uh, I made it. I only, I had a landscaping. So landscaping are the first two periods are, are landscaping. So I had landscaping and then I was the first one out. So I sat down on the grass. I remember I had a piece of paper. I sat on a piece of paper like, yeah, I made it. Like I made it back without having a fight. So my clothes are cool. Like I don't have to worry about them. And sure enough, a motherfucker from Adams, they, they sat like, we sat right here. They sat on the other side. He sees me like you cricket from Monte Flores. I was like, yeah, he told me who he was. and told me he, like, like I shot at Like I had shot at him. Right. So he told me who he was. So I shot at him again. We just got down, boom, 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 boom. We got down like a motherfucker. So yeah, so never go in, in, in good clothes like that. Like back then, that's that was the rule. So yeah, so you would do that, and and it, now this was just a trip because it was wild. I'm telling you, like motherfuckers are just getting down, like boom, boom, and you'll see some good fucking fights, and uh, sometimes you'll see like bullshit fights too, like two fools swimming and shit. Dropping the dome, like just swinging all wild, helicopter status and shit. So, but it was a, it was a trip because it was the, you would always see it. I don't think there was a day when I was there that there wasn't a fight. Like I I don't think that happened for real. Like real shit. I don't think there was ever a day where it was just peaceful. Like every day there was a fucking fight. Like Nellis was so rowdy that lockup was always packed, always packed. So if you got down in the dorm, that was no big deal. Like, th like you, you're just going to go back to the dorm. They're not going to put you in lockup for a fight. Like, like you, they're not going to, there was a time when, when, like I'm telling you that, that epic fail I had, um, uh, it was a three on two in the chow and they still didn't put, they, they could have put us in lockup cause they had, that shit was packed with motherfuckers that were just like active and shit. And they're like, damn, like these motherfuckers are, are fucking up haze. Like the Hayes cottage, what do we do with them? Like we can't send them anywhere because we were like, we were fucking up that cottage, but we weren't really doing anything outside of that cottage. You know what I mean? So it's like, damn, what are we going to do with these motherfuckers? So they had to kick out the room wards and put us in rooms and shit. Um, and then they eventually ended up sending us to, to lock up and shit. But yeah, the school area was just fucking wild, man. And you know what? Um, in a way that, that prepared me 
for a lot of things when I got out because you got to be on your toes at all times. So at all times, I, I st I'm still like that. I'm on my toes. I'm like, all right, I I'm ready. Like, I'm ready. Whatever happens, happens. Let's go. You know what I mean? And, and I use that shit in a more positive way, but I'm ready. I'm just like, whatever obstacles are in front of me, like, not that those were obstacles back then because that was shit that, that we initiated. You know what I mean? That was shit that, that we invited. And back then, it was kind of exciting, at least for me. It was like a, a, an adrenaline rush. Like, oh shit, who am I going to see today? Like, yeah, we're going to get this shit cracking. You know what I mean? And um, it was an adrenaline rush. Um, but nowadays, I still have that mentality like, what's going to happen today? I'm ready to go. Like, whatever it is. But the only, the only difference now is I don't look for that shit and I don't look forward to it. I don't look forward to bad moments. But if they happen, I'm ready to go. You know what I mean? I'm ready to rock and roll. Let's do it. But yeah, that, that was Nellis. Nellis was a fucking trip, man. The, the school area. YTS... Uh, the trade line was active too, uh, in, in YTS, but the trade line kicked off a little more, but you would see like homies going at it with each other, uh, like just internal beefs and shit. Like, cause, uh, when I got to Nellis, I mean, when I got to YTS, uh, if you shot at somebody in another institution, like that shit follows you. So if you shot at like, let's say 18th street or Monteflores, Florencia, Verdugo, like, like, them fools are gonna be on you. Like, like, they're gonna be like, oh, I heard you shot at the homies over here, fool. What the fuck? Or there's even some fools in, in YTS. YTS is weird though. It was a trip because you had older cats too. Like, you had cats that were like 23, 22 years old, and they're like, ah, they, they weren't even tripping. Some cats just got out the joint or came back from the joint, and they weren't like, they weren't even tripping on all that shit. They're just like, dog, we're, we're Southsiders, we're trying to do it like this, right? But you also have cats that are like 18, 19 years old that are that are still with the business. And they're like, man, fuck that. We're we going to rock and roll. You know, so that shit was a trip. You would see riots. Uh, riots would kick off and shit. I wasn't in YTS long enough, though. But when I was in YTS, I remember one of my homies uh, ended up uh, like he, he ended up getting down with some food from another neighborhood. Uh, he ended up like my boy had hands. It was my boy Travi. He had hands and like he just beat the fuck out of this fool. Boom, 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 boom. And like his homeboy was, the other fool's homeboy was there watching and like he, he probably felt pressured. I'd feel pressured. I'd be like, what the fuck, fool, get off my homeboy. You know what I mean? Like, you don't need to do him like that. So that fool just jumped in and Travi kind of mixed both of them fools. Doom, 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 doom. So they jumped Travi. So the homies were like, ah, oh, fuck that shit. Like, like, you fools can't be jumping the homie and shit. So when they caught one of his homies in the school area, like Travi, my boy Muppet, and some other cat, they ended up jumping one of his homeboys in the school area. I think it was actually one of the guys that jumped Travi. Uh, they ended up catching him in, in, the, in the school area, ended up jumping that fool, boom, 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 boom. And uh, at the, like, that, like you'll see shit like that happen. Like you'll see motherfuckers like, just like, fuck it, let's go. And, then, and that shit kicks off. Like that shit kicks off because uh, uh, in YTS, when it comes to like racial division, there were no one-on-ones. The only one-on-ones were among your own race and shit. So yeah, you would see people getting sliced and, and all that shit in YTS. Uh, uh, but yeah, I wasn't in YTS too long, so I don't have too many war dogs about what happened there, but I just remember like that shit would crack. Like that shit would crack. But Nellis by far was just like way more happening. Like way, like, but in YTS, when that shit happened, it happened. Like, it fucking cracked. Like, like my homie Chippy said in the, uh, uh, well, his interview, when they, when they jumped the green lighter, like, they put that fool in a coma. You know what I mean? So, that shit was brutal. That shit was crucial. In Nellis, you would hardly see the fights go that long. There were way more of them, but they wouldn't last as long. In YTS, you have motherfuckers that have been down for, like, like, let's say if you're, you got there when you're 13 and you're, like, 20 years old that's seven years already you got cats seven eight nine ten years even 11 years sometimes in there and they're just ready to go you know what i mean so they're just fucking like they're with the business cats working out like like and fucking so when they hit that shit hurts a lot more than when a 15 year old kid assaults another 15 year old kid you know what i mean so it was a trip that uh Nellis school area was a lot more like jumping and popping and shit but YTS was just a lot more serious. Like, you, you, you catch something over there, like, you're getting fucked up. 
But yeah, that's all I got to say about that. Uh, with that said, I'm out. Peace.